more moisture building into our atmosphere. It's in the upper 50s right now. Uh, a light northwest wind. That'll be the case tonight and a light wind until tomorrow afternoon as well. Right now over Grand Rapids, we're uh, mostly clear, if not fully clear across all the area, except for a few clouds down near the Indiana and Ohio border. As for tonight, we're going to remain mostly clear. Those temperatures in the upper 50s to lower 60s near I-94 and lower 50s north of Grand Rapids. So a fairly comfortable, quiet night tonight. Tomorrow morning, we'll see sunshine. That'll help get our temperatures up to the 80s for afternoon highs. We're looking at 84 from Fremont down to Grand Rapids. Upper 80s near Kalamazoo and Big Rapids, or Battle Creek rather, and near Big Rapids. Temperatures only in the low 80s. Now notice, we are looking at the chance for a few scattered showers or thunderstorms tomorrow evening. Uh, this is the lineup here. Marginal risk from Holland, Grand Rapids to Lansing to the north and east. Southwest of that, we're looking at a slight risk. So we could see an isolated severe storm north, and it looks like we could see a few, or if not a couple of sc scattered severe thunderstorms south of Grand Rapids. This is from tomorrow at about 2 to 3 p.m lasting until the overnight hours as well. Right now, there's not much going on in Grand Rapids or much of the Midwest region, but notice well out west in San, uh, South Dakota and Nebraska. That's where a few thunderstorms, even a tornado warning actually being detected. This is the system that's already developing and will be headed our way uh, tomorrow afternoon. So on the future track, as this develops into our region, notice it does kind of fall apart, but then it picks right back up going into tomorrow afternoon. We're looking for the rain to arrive between 4 and 5 p.m. along the lakeshore and then moving almost due east and then eventually southeast. That was wave one. It looks like we could see a second round of showers and stronger thunderstorms. Notice uh, just after midnight, uh, all the pinks in there, that's where we could see some of our heaviest storms moving through parts of West Michigan. But notice again, the strongest of it uh, just looks to be just in southwest of I-96 and the Grand Rapids region. So again, the slight risk is southwest of Grand Rapids. That's the best chance of seeing some of the stronger to severe storms. Notice by Tuesday, uh, we're going to start to clear out. We'll be partly cloudy, and that's when the heat and humidity build in. Here's a look at our severe weather threats. Uh, hail looks to be potential for some larger size. Our biggest threat, though, going to be wind gusts upwards of 75 miles per hour. Tornado threat non-zero, but we may be isolated tornado. After that, as I mentioned, the heat's building in. Notice the 80s and even some 90s out in Kansas still from the system as we sit in the 60s and 70s. This is coming right into our region going into the next couple of days. We're looking to peak uh, between Tuesday and Wednesday with the upper air temps, and that means low or highs at the surface uh, being in the low to mid 90s. It's going to be a huge heat wave for us here after we get through tomorrow's showers and thunderstorms. Notice on Tuesday, again, that's when the 90s start, and we're looking at real field temperatures that after that heat index uh, with the humidity building in. We could see those feels like temperatures climb from the 60s in the morning to potentially in the triple digits in the afternoon. Again, heat advisories could be issued uh, with the system uh, and the heat building in Tuesday and on Wednesday. Definitely be cautious if you're going to go outdoors. There's going to be lots of sunshine, not a strong wind, and that means, again, it could be quickly for some heat exhaustion, um, shortness of breath, or maybe even some lightheadedness as well. Otherwise, we do cool back down to reality, back to sunshine in the 80s.